she's the world number one in women's singles, a double world champion, and the winner of five World Super Series, including the prestigious All England Open Badminton Championships. When you look at the impressive achievements of Carolina Marin, credit must be given to the man behind her success story, coach Fernando Rivas. Fernando Rivas is very important just like the rest of the team. Fernando is the one who coaches me every day. I was already at this training centre at the age of 14. Together we have set targets and have tried to achieve them. Fernando is a very important person to me. He's a person that at any moment, at any time of day, I can count on for anything. When Fernando Rivas took over as head coach of the Spanish national setup in 2005, his analytical approach initially met with almost universal resistance. Having spent five years studying the science of badminton in Holland, Germany and France as part of his postgraduate studies, Rivas tried to implement his new theories of training. With the Spain team indoctrinated in the Chinese way, a legacy left by their previous coach from China, Rivas found virtually no support for his methods that were drastically different from the controlled Chinese system of coaching. It's a completely different approach and it's based on, on science. It's a scientific approach and um, it's, uh, it's based on my knowledge in, in sports science. I take some things from, from the more traditional systems. But, um, since we're in Spain, we don't live in China, Indonesia or Denmark. We, we need to um, adapt the knowledge we could gather and to, to a, a Spanish culture. Even though I, uh, I was able to convince some people, it took a very long time to, to make things work. I, I ask one question. We are not champions in anything. We are just an average country. So what the worst thing, it can happen. That we're still bad, that's okay. I'm fine with that. I can, I can cope with the being still bad by doing it in a different way. Beside the successes of Marin, Spain were also crowned European junior champions for the very first time in Kazan, Russia, last year. With Spanish badminton now at a level unthinkable a decade ago, nobody can argue that Rivas's methods haven't worked. Well, I think it's the only way we can cope with Asians. Um, I mean, well, the tradition and uh, the way they play, they, they've been there for, for so many decades. I think uh, being smarter is the, the only way we can do it. And of course, I, I love uh, learning about badminton. I love studying badminton. And uh, when I talk about tactics, it's about what happens in the, during a match. When I, when I talk about strategies, how to develop in a long-term uh, process. So yeah, I, I, I love both of them. It's a, it's a very fulfilling process. To illustrate the extent to which Fernando's impact can be felt, look no further than the 2014 Women's Singles World Championship Final. His protégé, Carolina Marin, was aiming to become the first Spaniard to win a world title. As the shuttler prepared to serve match point against China's reigning Olympic champion, Li Xue Rei, she looked over to her coach for inspiration. Having studied Li Xue Rei's playing patterns extensively, Rivas signaled to serve open. And the rest is history, as Carolina forced an error to wrap up a thrilling victory in the deciding game. We, we do a lot of video analysis. We, uh, we, have, we pay a lot of attention to the, the, the patterns. I, I'm sure everybody does. It worked. It could have, it could have worked other way, but it, it worked. So it's a, it's, a, it's a good story to tell, right? With the badminton world now sitting up and taking notice of his methods, does he feel that he can forge a lasting coaching legacy, a Rivas way that's embraced by coaches across the world? My goal is that that happens in Spain and we are able to develop more coaches so that we have more players. So that's, that's my main goal concerning the, 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 the coach education. Um, Apart from that, if that goes beyond our boundaries and beyond our borders, it's, that, that, that would be very, uh, very fulfilling for me as a, as a coach because I have developed this system. His focus is firmly trained on the future development of Spanish badminton. But what does Fernando hope to achieve in his second decade at the helm? Of course, we, we have targets for uh, um, European and world uh, uh, women's team championships. For me, 
more than specific goals. I, I, I like to talk about developmental goals, like um, developing a, a, a proper uh, a coaching education system, developing the network, the, the development network, like uh, this Cebus Campeon program, and to uh, implement it better in the regional centers. So these are goals um, that need support from, from our federation, for the political board, and this is the support that we are claiming for. One obvious way that the sport can develop further in Spain is if Carolina can become the first Spaniard to win an Olympic badminton medal in Rio. If she can, then the impact on youngsters wanting to take up the sport could be huge. And Fernando Rivas and his team will be on hand to help them reach their full potential.